Hey, welcome back. This is Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. How are you guys doing today? Today we're going to talk about the uh, Power Wing Beast offense uh, and actual game footage. Uh, I've got three offensive uh, drives uh, that I had in one game that uh, kind of shows how to run this uh, Power Wing Beast offense. So uh, let's get right into it. I hope you, in, uh, you enjoyed the video and enjoy the uh, game footage. Hey, welcome back again. It's uh, Coach Parker, and uh, we're going to be going over the uh, Power Wing Beast offense. And what we've got here is some actual game footage of a Warhawks team that I had. And uh, this group is, uh, we just lost our tailback in the previous game. He had moved uh, out of town. And so um, this might be uh, what a few teams run into when they don't get a Tier 1 tailback and have to go to more power kind of drives. I'm running a kind of a tier one, almost fullback here, a backup quarterback, a tight end, and now a managing quarterback here, and a tier two line with a couple of big boys that are mixed in here. So uh, looks like this first play, we're in the trig formation, and uh, we run up the middle. You can see the quarterback and the tailback give a good fake. Cole's a cameraman. We ran to like a 2-4 hole there. Got a nice pickup on that yardage. And so we uh, we got a nice play out of that. So let's see what we do again here. I think I come right back to it since we got some good yardage. Not as good yardage, but uh, still pretty decent there, as you can see on that trick. So it's two trick plays right off the bat. And then uh, I think I have short yardage for a first down, so I go for a wedge here. And we get the first down here off a wedge. And that was a beast right wedge. Looks like we got the first down, so I'm back into trig here. And uh, do I go back up the middle? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I go back to that same play, get about three yards. Now, a lot of you guys are, you know, I'm okay with three to four yards of carry. I know a lot of coaches get a little impatient about that. I'm kind of a clock management ball control guy, so uh, I'm not too unhappy about the, about that uh, call. So we get a quarter ended, so we shifted here. Um, let's see, still in a trick formation here. Uh, I go right. Oh, busted play. Quarterback busted the play here. Didn't hand off to the uh, tailback in there. So that happens to everybody. Okay, so now I'm going into this power eye pie thing, which I call here, where I've got a tailback. And then over here uh, on the wide side, on the eight hole side, I've got two uh, blocking backs over there. And so that's how this power eye or pie thing that I run, the blocking backs basically go to hold. Looks like I'm in a nasty split here. I'm probably going to run up that, that nasty gap there on this 28 stretch. Yep. Not a bad, not a bad play there. Not a, not bad yardage. So now it looks like we're actually in a beast jumbo set. Uh, beast right jumbo. Uh, the, Tailback is doing a direct snap out of this kind of wildcat formation, and he's going to run at 18, it looks like. So here he goes. There he goes. Good corner tries to make it. Makes a good dive into the first down. We get a first down here off of that. I was pretty surprised. We actually, we actually got a first down off of that call. The defense called a timeout. We're back into, we're, we're definitely in a power high here. It looks like a trick, but it's the power high. I think we come right up at the four hole, get hit, but he makes a good bounce. And another good power run uh, up the middle with that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we're, we're running just a, a, another power over to the eight hole here, it looks like. Let's see what he does. Yep, he pitches it. Corner makes a great play here. He didn't go anywhere. So now uh, I'm trying to give my tailback a little bit of rest. Uh, the tight end is in here running this. Uh, looks like a, a beast wide uh, right here. Uh, yeah, it looks like a little wide here. 
uh, and he's going to kind of run this thing up the middle. Uh, that's a beast tide, actually. He runs right up the middle. Not a, not a bad play for him, actually. A couple of yards on that. And then uh, I got my tail back under Beast again, who's going to run a Beast. Actually, a Beast wedge. He wedges up the middle. I think we were going for the first down. Now, watch the pile. We teach the kids to be part of the tackle. And we got definitely uh, some good yardage on the pile uh, push there on the wedge. So we're now we're now back in the power eye. You see the two blocking backs up. The tail back will probably hit in a three or a five hole on this. Now let's see what happens. Yep, boom. You got the two big blocking backs. You see how he just rode the number 28, which is the big tight end fullback that's in the back. He just rode his back right on in. Uh, so now we're in the extra point here. Uh, we're back, we're still in the power eye. The blocking backs are over here. And uh, we're going to come back in here for the extra point. And I think he hits a four hole and walks in. So that was, a, I think, an easy eight or an easy seven. Looks like an eight up there. This is another series here. Uh, looks like we've got the ball again. Uh, we're in the power series again. Looks like going to the three or the five hole. Makes a good fake. You see the tailback jump. Uh, one good fake equals two blocks, so you saw that tailback jump, and the ball's actually going right up the middle. You see that right there? So watch the tailback and the quarterback make their fakes. You'll see I'm a big proponent on the offense to make sure all the backs are making fakes. Some of the backs are looking sometimes at the running backs, which I'm not, I don't like. After a few seconds, I want them to carry out good downfield fakes. But it uh, looks like we're back in this power eye set again going to go in the four hole it looks like yep he hands it off real quick back up the four hole and he breaks it for a first down that was a nice um definitely in this the power eye set again looks like we've probably found this four hole over here wide open which is we just kind of keep pounding it up oh, they got in there same set again we've decided i guess i've decided just to pound it hard at that four in the six hole because we found something there. It looks like we set it up on the uh, left. You see how the tailback just jumped over there? Uh, but that big lineman clogged the middle there. Oh, so we're in a beast here. This is kind of a go-to thing for about five yards for me. Let's see what happens. This is a beast left. I think this is a beast left tank. And watch him pop out of this here. Hits it. He pops out right behind that back. Boom, right there. Not a bad play. Now we're in, uh, looks like a jumbo right uh, situation. I've got the uh, backup quarterback in here is the beast back running a jumbo set. Uh, hoping they think he's going to throw off of this. So I think they actually tackle him in the backfield here. Nope, they almost do. He makes a good cut. Makes a good couple of yards here on that. Not too bad. Uh, we're back in the power eye set here over that four hole again. I, look, I'm not I'm not proud. If I find an offense going to give me a four hole all day long, I'm going to keep ripping it uh, up the four hole. I don't care if I run ten times in a row, but uh, don't get afraid to do that. So let's see what we do. Yeah, we just go right back to it. He shoots in there again for some nice yardage. And I think we we missed the first down by about an inch. And uh, I think the back is going to slip on this one. I probably, he was getting pretty tired here. Uh, and I probably should have ran another play with another back. But uh, I got too anxious here. Well, let's see what happens. I think he does. Nope, that's a wedge. So he gets the wedge. This is where I think we're, we're about an inch short. Uh, yeah, so we go into beast tank. I probably should just call the wedge again because here I think he slips. Yep, he slipped. He was tired. So we, uh, not bad ball management. We got the ball down to the 10 yard line, put them in kind of a hole. Um, and here we get the ball back uh, a few plays later, a quarter changed. So this is the third drive here. Uh, looks like we're back in a power eye set. Um, I think we hand it off in the middle on these. Yeah, going to hit that four hole again. And I'm happy, you know, you can see the ref over here. That's three yards. I'm happy to eat up the clock 
They give me three to four yards. I'm going to take it. Looks like we're still set up over here to go to the four hole. Let's see if I hit it again. Yep, I hit it again, and they clog it. But hey, you know, that's all right. That's all right. Get them sucking in over here. Get them sucking into the middle, not knowing exactly what we do. I think we run a little bit outside of there now. Yep, and he shoots up there. And you see the pile. We're moving the pile, pushing the pile. Make sure you get your kids to know that. So it looks like it's about fourth and two. Uh, looks like he's set up in a beast wide here. You can see they're a little bit outside the tight end. He's kind of in his half shotgun little thing. So I think he grabs it, and he knows he's got to get to that point. He just hits the mesh there to make sure he gets his first down. All right, so here's the angle formation. you got the tight end. We've got a fullback here, and we've got the wing back here. Uh, and I actually think we're going to fake a pass to number nine and a sweep, and we actually kind of wedge it up the middle on this thing. This is one of my favorite plays, actually. Yep, boom, you see the tailback jump, quarterback throws, kind of hesitates everybody in the back. And, you know, that guy that's running the ball is a tailback, and he definitely is not that fast, and uh, that was some good yardage. And, again, like I said, this is the third best team in, in, that ended up the season, so... Uh, they're not they're not a bad little defense here. So we're back in the power I set here over this four hole again. Probably going to pound it again in the four hole. And uh, they kind of stuff it up, but I think we get three, two or three yards there, which I'm not happy with. So we go to the other side with the power I again. We're just going to bang it away. There he goes. Missed the block there totally. Totally with that block. Uh, so the, going back to the beast power, this is probably, uh, probably need a couple of yards here for a first down. Let's see what we get here. So he hits the beast tank. They give us that beast tank hole. He gets a good three or four yards, five with the, uh, the push. I think we get a first down there, so not too bad. So we're going to go back to it since they gave it to us, but I think we wedge to fake them out. We go right up the middle. Another two or three yards. I think this might be the first down here. Yeah. So that gave us the first down. So we go back into angle here. And let's see if we actually try to run outside if we're going to fake this this uh, wedge again. Or hit the wedge. Yep, yeah, we hit the wedge again. He gets a couple of yards on that, but not too bad. And we're back in the power eye set. Pie. And we do a counter off of that. Nice counter hole back to the four hole. As you can see, I found the four hole early, so I keep going back to it quite a bit uh, with the uh, underneath backs, with the full backs, uh, and just kind of setting that up there. So don't be afraid to do that if you find if you find the hole, and you know they may adjust, and they they have adjusted and caught us if you saw a couple of times they caught us, but I you know. I consistently will go back to it because they can't catch us every time. They'll move over and leave it weak again, and we'll, we'll get them for, for a good yardage gain there. So we're back in the power eye set. Looks like we're going to go attack the four hole again, um, and we do. And there it goes. It goes right back up into the two and the four. They kind of catch us, but look at it. our line is pushing them over. Uh, looks like the quarter's ended here. So we switch. So we go back in the beast. See how we're using the beast right tank? It's not the beast to me is not really a whole series of plays. You can use it, uh, you know, uh, as a single power play when you really need it, kind of like a wedge play. So let's see what we do here. If we do that, I think this is a a wedge. He went backside. He must have saw that open hole. He got like five yards on it. So we're back in a power set again. That pie formation. I think we go right back up the middle with the fullback. Yep, back to the four hole. He gets three or four yards, and we're we're just eating up the clock here. Uh, back, definitely back into the power eye again, and uh, we shoot it up with the tailback with two lead blockers there, and he gets a nice four or five yards on that. Pretty happy with that. It's a good ball management. We're just pushing down. Looks like we're on like the two yard line now. Uh, I'm about to punch it in here. And uh, this is the beast right tank. Looks like it might be a wedge because I got an even line here. Let's see what he does. Yep, it's a wedge. Now watch him. He fights in here and he stalls, but then he then he pops. 
So that's what you're looking for your wedge backs and your uh, beast backs to be able to do. And yes, that is my son, my youngest, and uh, he runs that really well. But let's look at that again. So just so you know how your beast back, your beast backs, this is what you want your beast fullback you guys to do. So watch as the wedge stalls out here. He keeps his feet moving. He knows he's stalled, and then he bounces off of it when all the defense clogs in. If the linebackers clog into that big uh, kind of bee's nest thing where all kind of congregate, you're back and then bounce out. And if, you know, if they'd have been on the 40-yard line, that would probably been a touchdown as he bounced out of that thing. Uh, so that was a beast white red wedge. We got the touchdown. Now we're going into uh, looks like a beast jumbo set here. And I think he tries to get a little too wide for himself here. And this is a tier one corner, number three. Um, we've coached him before, and uh, he gets uh, he gets Zane there. And uh, I think it's uh, 15. I think that's supposed to be a 15 to zero and uh, with eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And that's, that's where uh, uh, I think they, we actually gave him a touchdown. So it wound up being uh, 15 to six. Uh, the end of the the game there, but uh, but yeah. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, the game footage there. You can see what we were doing. Uh, like I said, we didn't we didn't have a really a tier one tailback to do sweeps. So you saw how I managed that game on kind of stretch sweeps and in beast and power football up the middle. Used a lot of clock, uh, and I was happy with uh, three and four yard gains and didn't really get upset with, uh, you know, no gainers. It just kept making sure we were consistent about hitting, uh, as you can see, that four hole. So hope you enjoyed the this video. Again, this is Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. Thanks a lot. Hi, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. Uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like everything you're seeing, please give us a thumbs up below. Uh, if you didn't like it, please leave a comment. Tell me why. I can answer your question. Or if you have any other comments, good or bad, love to hear those. Love to get comments. Uh, if you got an assistant coach that uh, needs some information, uh, please share the video with him. Uh, if you've liked all the videos in my video series, both on defense, offense, and drills, please subscribe to the channel to get all these free youth football coaching videos. Uh, to help support me to bring more free content, uh, there's a donate button up in the right. And uh, you can also shop my store, uh, which I get a percentage of. There's a link in the description below. And I've got a book out right now, the 6-2 uh, Multi-8 Youth Football Defense, which you can uh, buy over at coachparker.org and head over there and check that out. There's also a link in the description uh, for that also. But uh, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, really uh, appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a great day and a great season. And remember to play for fun and winning is funner. Talk to you guys later. Ciao.